Hi guys, Santorini has just been rattled by another above magnitude 5 earthquake as we speak, 5.2. You see it blinking here and let me zoom in so that you see the location. It's a little further north than we have seen the earthquakes in the last few hours. So the pinkish one are the last quakes in the last six hours. But Santorini has been constantly been rattled by these swarms of quakes. I mean, it's basically constantly rattling, but then we have these spikes with higher magnitudes. And I mean, look at this. Here is the 5.2 in a shallow, shallow depth, only three kilometers. And then we had a 4.7 just slightly before that, basically only a minute difference. So where is it? <laughs> I've zoomed out too much. There we are. So let's have a look. Where is the location of the 4.7? In the area a little bit more to the east, but also very shallow depth at only two kilometers, guys. And this is really remarkable because it doesn't seem to slow down, but it also doesn't look like that we're seeing a major quake where we could see this is four shocks, major quake, aftershocks. Then there's theories people are saying, well, if it's only tectonic, it's constantly releasing stress, and that's a good thing. But I've showed you a video just a few hours ago that researchers say in a new study, we have evidence that this seismic activity is coming from fluids. And what they mean by this, hydrothermal activity or magma. So it's not ruled out that this has a volcanic origin. And look at this swarm, like 3.1, same area, basically between the 4.7 and the 5.2. 3.0, that's an outlier, that's way further east. But then another 3.4, and then it was a little bit quiet, if you can call that quiet, but also in the magnitude three ranges, 3.4. And then, you know, there was another spike, 4.7, 4.1, 3.9. And then basically this was a long spike here with 4.8, 4.0. This is just one day, guys. This is just February the 10th. If you look at this, where was the 4.8? Oh, basically right next to the 5.2. So it seems something's going on there. And the strange thing is this is at a little bit deeper depth, seven kilometers. And then if we go back, still, that's the same day. It refreshes every once in a while. So a 4.2 at a depth of eight kilometers. That's more in the middle of the swarm, that quake right now. But look at this, if I scroll down, this is all February 10th. And already it started out basically with a 3.9 also in that area guys and we have a new graph that i want to show you this is the gutenberg richter law per group of 398 earthquakes and they're basically going back in dates so the most recent one are the yellow dots for the time frame of february 8th till february 10th and you really see that something has changed there. But many of you ask me, what is the Gutenberg-Richter law? <laughs> so that expresses the relationship between the magnitude of an earthquake and the total number of earthquakes in any given region and time period. And that's what you see on this curve here. So basically what you see on the x axis is the magnitudes, right? So we see the yellow dots now, they really went um, into the five ranges. You see the, the, the curve was going like this and then it was really shifting to the right because of these magnitude five earthquakes and they don't even have the last magnitude, the current one that just happened, 5.2. They don't have this in this chart, but there you can see, especially on that yellow curve, that here that you see when you look at where magnitude four is it's shifting to the right it's shifting towards higher magnitudes and then of course on the y axis we see the cumulative count 
how many earthquakes of course they get lower when we get into the higher ranges but as i said we see that when we reach for that gradually coming down of the curves creates a a, a, a low spot where it's almost vert, um, horizontal then it goes down then it almost goes horizontal when we're coming down to five and now there's even more another magnitude 5.2 so this is not ending we cannot say that the magnitudes are gradually getting lower and lower and that it looks like that this swarm is ending somehow it's absolutely not and we still do not have a conclusive explanation as to where this is coming from and uh, i said it in my last video about that new study that has found over 20,000 earthquakes in that region it's a very interesting video i put it in the end screen but they say they have found evidence that it's liquid fluid um hydrothermal or volcanic so this is probably and they also say you can say it's this 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 maybe it's working together it's volcanic tectonic you know magma might rise or intrude in some areas trigger some fault lines well as long as it's only doing this and it's not spiking with a higher magnitude earthquake like magnitude 7 plus like they had it in 1956 well then let it rumble right it's not that bad for the moment they have inspected buildings at santorini there's not too much damage there's some stuff that has fallen over but not major major issues they told the hotels drain your pools because if there's a bigger earthquake you don't want the water swapping around especially not when these pools are built cliff sides that could really cause a lot of instability because that water weighs a lot and puts a lot of strain on these foundations and on these structures that are hanging over the cliffs and some of them are not even built to code or don't even have a building permit or their foundations are not built correctly this is definitely what this crisis has um uncovered there is a problem and the problem is because of the tourist boom of Santorini and residents are saying well they're building everywhere they're, they're building all the cliffs this is crazy and it needs to be sustainable they want the tourists it's like two percent of greece's gdp it's important but you can't change the beauty of the island too much because then everything the tourists want to come for it's basically gone so they have brought disaster response teams to santorini we have seen this but also a team of special disaster response units um, has set off for Amorgos. That's also basically the, this swarm is happening between Amorgos and um, Santorini. So they have set off from Patras with a special earthquake rescue vehicle. And there's also technical teams that are expect, um, expected to inspect the electricity network on the island. So they still, and that's what the government said, they want to prepare for the big earthquake so that the people that remain on the islands are safe or have rescue teams in place. Officials said today, well, let's hope that we will slowly move towards a gradual de-escalation of the earthquakes. But again, what you've just seen, it doesn't look like this. But Kostas Papatsakos, he's a professor of seismology at the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki. He says, we will have to be a little patient and then we will have to wait and see. So he says, let's hope that after a couple of weeks, the phenomenon will start to subside. The couple of weeks is kind of over right now. So in his words that he just said, it should start to subside right now, which is clearly not. It has produced 5.0 on Sunday and 5.2 again um, right after that on Monday. So there's still great, great uncertainty. And you have asked about the animals. I just wanted to show you a few videos here. There's horses on the island. There's donkeys on the island. And, and they, they have not been transported off the island. I mean, they should be fine if there's an earthquake happening, if they're not pastured or enclosed right on a dangerous cliff that could be prone to landslides because that's what they say 
is the biggest problem right now, landslides, because that continues shaking and rattling can cause instabilities and can bring rocks and landslides down, guys. That was just a quick update. Check out the videos that I just released a few hours ago. It's really, really interesting, especially what could happen if we see that magnitude 7 plus earthquake that the authorities are preparing for we would most definitely see a tsunami and what does that mean check out this video guys and thanks for watching leave me a like if you can and if you want to support the channel any further go to my buymeacoffee.com slash silky site i'm using the coffees right now to support my sick dog apollo who's battling cancer so what you're doing for him it's so greatly appreciated i'm so grateful for you guys and uh thanks for the supers that you're sending me here on youtube and just for being here guys and i will follow up with this and uh, i see you soon thank you so much bye bye